In this video, I'm going to show you how I paint my Leagues of Votan Ironkin heads. So for this video, I'll be using the following paints. Vallejo Metal Color Dark Aluminium, Vallejo Model Air Silver, Citadel Cabalite Green, and I'll also be using some De La Rowney Matte Glaze Medium, but this isn't necessary if you don't already have it. So the idea was to create a simple but effective way of painting my iron kin in my army. I knew I wanted the heads to be metal, but I wanted it to stand out from the rest of the metal areas on the model, as if the head is made of some sort of special material. So I started by taking some Vallejo Dark Aluminium. Now I don't generally water this down at all as it's an airbrush paint, so it's already very thin straight out of the pot. And I started to slowly build up a nice solid smooth base coat. When you're done, you should have something similar to this. Next, for the highlight stage, take some Dark Aluminium again and add some Vallejo Air Silver to it, 50-50 mix. And we're going to start from roughly the lower third of the head and work our way upwards. Like in the previous stage, just slowly building up the layers. With each layer, slowly start further and further up so you get a nice smooth transition. When you're finished, it should look like this. For the final stage, take some Cabalite Green, Matte Glaze Medium, and we're going to water it down so the mix will be one part paint, one part Matte Glaze Medium, and roughly four parts water. Like I said at the start, if you don't have Matte Glaze Medium, don't worry, don't go rushing out to buy it. You can achieve the same result without it, but it might just take a little bit more work. And we'll start applying it to the lower third of the head, and also the surrounding area a little. Now I was after quite a subtle effect, it's not intended to be some sort of OSL or object source lighting effect, more of a subtle reflection of the metal onto the surrounding armour. So keep going over the area, building up the intensity as you work your way towards the bottom, until you get the effect you want. And there you have it, a simple but effective way of painting iron kin heads. Give this a try yourself, I'd love to see how you get on, so tag me in your photos over on Instagram. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of my hobby content, check out this little playlist I've put together for you over on the right. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you over there.